welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to do a tutorial on how to play Here in My Room by Incubus. So I actually went to see Incubus live recently, which is like the fourth time I've seen them. I would say Incubus are definitely my favourite band. They played this song this particular time I went to see them, so I just felt inspired to make a tutorial. Assuming you know a bit about the piano and what the notes are called. Let's get straight into the video. So here is a preview of the main sections that we're going to go over today. starts in like a C position. This might not be 100% correct but I've just sort of figured this out by ear and it's sometimes a bit difficult to tell exactly what's going on because of the other instruments um, you know that overpower the mix of the song. The right hand is gonna go so we've got E and G and then it's gonna play E and G sharp so it's got this sort of quite eerie semitone chord going on. And then the left hand is in, I'm going to play in fifths um, and with the octave on top. So here we've got octaves of C's with the fifth, which is a G in the middle. So then we have this. So there I'm playing the C and the G first, then the C by itself, and then the chord, C, change the chord, C, change it back, C. And then after this we're going to a G sharp position in the left hand, and then an A minor position in the right hand, which is C, E flat, and G. And then this is how I play it, so then we've got the left hand's going to go like this. So G sharp, D sharp, G sharp. And then the right hand is going to pulse firstly on just a C and the E flat, like this. There is also a B flat going on in there as well, so I'm going to use my right hand to cross over to play that. So then we've got I'll play that again very slowly. And then it goes back to the C position again. G sharp position and C minor position and this time you're going to play the full C minor triad and I'm still crossing over to the B flat. So I'm using the pedal with this as well. I'm not going to go in depth about how to use a pedal today, just the rule of thumb is that you ref need to refresh the pedal every time there's a chord change so they don't mush and blur together but the pedal really lends itself to this piece nicely. The next section then is like the bridge section. So it's now going down to, so this part. So we've got F sharp in the left hand. So again, playing octaves with the fifth of C sharp in the middle. And then this is what I could pick out from what's going on in the other part. So we've got C sharp, B flat, C sharp, B flat, D sharp, F. <laughs> so it's going 
Mm. I'll play it really slowly. Yeah, what I was doing there with my left hand. Again, same as what we're doing with the G sharp position. So we've got this same pattern going on. So it does that four times before it goes into the chorus. So the chorus then is similar to the intro and the verse, but we've got an added chord in there. So we're still playing the C position. And then to the G sharp and C minor in the right hand. And now it's going to an F major position. So again, same shape in the left hand, so octaves of Fs with the fifth of C in the middle. And then in the right hand, you're gonna play A and C, and you're just gonna pulse it like this. And then you're gonna go back to this position again with the full chord in the right hand. If you want to make it slightly more advanced, I have also picked out what the bass is doing, which is this. So then that bit would go. Sorry about the crazy lighting. So those notes there were B flat, C, E flat, F, G, and then straight back to that G sharp chord again. If I play that again now, so just the chorus. And straight back into the verse. That concludes all of the sections and it's just a matter of piecing them together. I hope this video has been useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out my other videos, the Bite Size Piano. I cover lots of topics such as chords, scales, help with piano exams and music theory as well. So thank you for watching. Bye bye!